When is it not mosquito season? I don't, I don't think there's an answer to that question. I'm 30, 30 degrees up in the mountains. I've gotten mosquito bites. Anyways, with that being said, the old coot here coming at you with another exciting video. We're going to try to answer some questions about this product or these two products from Afterbite in this video. Okay, number one question is, does it work? Yes, in my honest opinion, this product is old coot product review approved for the sole reason that this is honestly the best stuff that I can find out there. This one, the I call it the magic marker, is basically designed more for like the itching, the itch relief, right? The quick 30 second relief of itching that you might be getting. This one has the itch relief, ding, 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 but it also has the pain relief. So when you get bit by like those fire ants, right, or biting flies, you kind of get a sense of what's going on there. This one is more like if you're going to get, you know, bit by a mosquito and you just want the itch relief, I would go with this one. If you want something that covers both the itch and the pain, go with this one. Okay. Magic marker. Basically, when you undo the cap, you get this kind of a tip here. You just dab it on the affected area and then massage it in with that little tip and eventually, I would say within 30 seconds to a minute, the itch is gone. You're good to go. You, you really shouldn't have to reapply it. If you get stung again, like in a in a surrounding area, like close to it, you may need to reapply it, but whoop de do One application does you, done. Does it sting? There's a caveat to that. If you notice the, the mosquito bite and you apply the product right away, Usually there's no sting. So for moms, parents out there, dads, whatever, who have little ones, little kids, and you're like, is it going to sting? As long as you apply it right away, usually there's no sting. You're good to go. But if you've been scratching at the area for like a half a day or a day and you've broken the skin surface and you keep scratching and scratching and scratching, you may notice a little bit of a sting. The sting is quick. It's maybe like five, 10 seconds. It goes away and the itch goes away as well. And you're good to go. 30 seconds to a minute usually works wonders. The longest I think this product has ever taken to work, like in my case, was maybe like five minutes. But within that time or le way less than that, usually the itch goes away. Okay. This one is the itch relief and also the pain relief. So when you get bit by like a fire ant, like you set up your tent in the wrong place, you sat down and you sat in the wrong spot, you... You know, when you get bit by a fire ant, the pain comes on pretty quick. As mentioned before, you apply the product. Usually within 30 seconds to a minute, this stuff works. The pain goes away and the itching goes away. Does it sting? No. If you apply it pretty quick after the, the insect bite, usually there's no pain. If you've been scratching it for a while, right, a half a day, a day, and you're like, oh my God, I need to put something on this to take the itching away, you may get a little bit of a sting, usually lasts about 10, 20 seconds, and then it's gone, the itching's gone, the pain's gone. You kind of get a sense of what's going on there. So this one, the application process is, as you can see right there, you have a little point on the cap, which is pretty common in these, uh, you know, the design of these products. So what you do is you take that point, you puncture the seal right there, boom, you're good to go. Squeeze out just a little. I'm talking like the very, very tip of like your pinky, maybe the tip of like a Q-tip's worth. You don't need a lot. A little bit goes a long way. Massage it into the affected area. Within about 10 seconds, 30 seconds, pain goes away, itching goes away, you're good to go. Stinging, there is no stinging if you apply it right away. Like I said, if you've been scratching it for a while, you're gonna get a little bit of a sting. Lasts about 10 seconds then, and then you know the rest is cake after that. For the kids out there, right? Like if you're parents and you have kids, there is a kids marketing packaging version of, a, I think of at least this one, the gel anyways. Basically, it's like I'm, I'm not quoting this exactly, but it's like butterflies and puppies on the on the boxes and the packaging just to make it more kid friendly. So, you know, it looks cool to a child and they're more likely to allow you to use the product on them. You kind of get a sense of what's going on there. External use only. That's another big thing. Make sure you use it externally. OK, how long to use? How many times do you need to apply it? All the good stuff. I would say this one. For the itch, you apply it once, you're good. You shouldn't have to reapply this product. I know it may seem like an eternity of waiting for that 30 seconds to go by. When's the itching going to stop? But usually once you put it on once, you're good to go. You don't re have to reapply it. If you get bit in the same area, then you may want to reapply it, you know, within like a half a day or whatever, you know, or whenever you notice that you got that second bite in the area, then you might want to reapply it. A little bit goes a long way. Remember, just a little bit is all you need. It's the ingredients that are in here that help to neutralize those proteins and those 
whatever those amino acids that are causing the itching and the pain, that's what the active ingredients do. So let's take a, let's take a look at those. So on this one, on the magic marker version, basically there's your active ingredients, basically baking soda. I think it also works. They put inactive ingredient, but I think that ammonia is doing a lot more than just being inactive. I think the ammonia in combination with the baking soda is what's kind of doing the neutralizing of those enzymes and proteins that are causing that itch. And that's why it works so darn fast. Whoops. Okay. Oh, by the way, if you do happen to drop it like that, usually there's no, and I dropped it again. Usually there's no spillage, right? You won't get any spillage because that's what the cap is designed for. So keep that in mind, that area in there, right? You don't have to squeeze it or anything. Just, you know, just turn it over, put it on the area. Gravity does its thing. Kind of get a sense of what's going on there. This one, the active ingredient. I'm glad that happened. And I got it on video because there's no, see, there's no, there's no spillage. So that's kind of good. So if you're out in the field, just know it's not all going to come running out of the tube. It's actually going to stay in there. Okay. This one, the active ingredient is, I'm not going to pronounce that, but what's nice about this one is. When you go to the inactive ingredients, one of the main things I picked up on quickly was the tea tree oil. And the reason why the tea tree oil is nice is because it's cooling, it's calming, it's almost like soothing, right? So especially if you do have a child that got bit and their, you know, their pain tolerance is pretty low, there might be some adults out there that need a little more, you know, adulting, <laughs> so to speak, that also have a low pain tolerance. You know, that that tea tree oil in there is kind of adding to that cooling effect, right? You've also got some aloe vera in there that adds to that cooling. So not only does it take out the pain, it neutralizes the pain, but it also neutralizes the itching and it does it in a cooling, calming, soothing type of a way. Okay. So you kind of get a sense of what's going on there. Okay. Very important about both of these, right? You'll notice there's some references to like poison oak and poison ivy and that kind of vibe obviously try to avoid all that if you can see like on this one right rashes due to poison ivy poison oak poison sumac you kind of get a sense of what's going on there this one poison oak sumac you know you kind of get a sense of what's going on there what's going on so they both kind of treat the same thing they just basically do it kind of in you know in different ways minor skin irritation you know temporarily temporarily protects and helps relieve minor skin irritation itching due to this one temporary relief of pain and itching so keep that in mind so remember itching pain and itching you kind of get a sense of what's going on does that answer another one of your questions if i had to bring just one there could only be one i would bring this one with me but usually on most of my backpacking camera trips, whatever the case may be, or outdoor adventures or whatever, I usually just keep one of these with me all the time. So in some cases I bring both, but anyways, you kind of get a sense of what's going on there. One other question, most important question is, is how long can you use the product for? Typically one application should be enough, like use it once and you're good to go. But if you notice that you're using this product, right? If symptoms last more than seven days or clear up or occur again within a few days or whatever, you know, contact your doctor, right? If your condition worsens, especially spider bites, right? Not mentioned anywhere in the packaging, at least not that I, not that I read or noticed or whatever, but spider bites are very, uh, they're an interesting thing. And you, you should, regardless of what your skin looks like or whatever, you know, you think you're okay. Spider bite, I would still go to the doctor. Spider bite is one of the most painful, worse, we're not talking itching and pain. We're talking like your skin could literally liquefy after a spider bite. So definitely go to your doctor after a spider bite. A lot of people don't treat those and, you know, some serious stuff happens because they didn't treat it. So go ahead and treat it. So anyways, there's more of your instructions and blah, 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 and whatever. If you have any questions or whatever, you know, contact, there's the phone numbers and all that good stuff for that stuff. Satisfaction guarantee, you know, there's all that, you know, it's made in, what is that? NH is New Hampshire. Is that right? I think so. 035, give yourselves a shout out, but you get the idea. There's the lot numbers letting you know when the products are made and tracking and all that good stuff and whatever the case may be. Anyways, with that being said, outdoor events, indoor events, right? Anywhere where there's going to be a field, baseball field, football field, whatever the case may be, you're outdoors. It's the middle of summer. It's the middle of winter. You're going up in the mountains, fishing, boating, golfing, great product to just have. I mean, you could stick this easily into like your caddy bag or whatever, your golf bag. When the itching kicks in, maybe from the day before you got to bite somewhere or whatever, boom, you're covered. You're good to go. Very lightweight, easily to, to transport around, very portable. You kind of get a sense of what's going on there. Anyways, I will put links down below in the description. Also in the comment section, I will also put this on my Amazon storefront. These are old coot product review approved. 
and I'll catch you all in the next exciting video.